like we got a bunch of turkeys in my field right now. Whole flock of them I've been getting pictures of. seeing any uh, beards. Just getting started. Uh, day two, finishing up this front field. And it's a bunch of turkeys out there. There's rain on the way. It rained some last night, so the ground's a little wet, but it's probably still dry enough to plant. We'll see. But uh, hopefully I can get the rest of the seed in. So we got a little bit of rain last night. The ground is uh, a little damp. Uh, there's no dust at least. And uh, there's some a little bit of blue sky around, but there's a storm coming out over like Columbus, Ohio and it'll be here in a few hours so I gotta get this planted before that rain gets here and uh, the ground's a little damp so this stuff st should start germinating real soon um, there's a little bit of seed on top of the ground not much I mean I think you want it in about an inch to an inch and a half and I mean there's like a, there's a seed right right here but uh, if you look around I can't really see any seed and I was just checking all the uh, opening discs none of them are plugged with mud so that's good and I can see seed in, in the bottom of all of them I've been losing some of these new discs I put on. I think I got a Loctite that hardware. Uh, I just found one in the field. They're all there. I knew one was missing. I put a, a replacement on, but I just stopped because I found this one. So yeah, it's a little damp. At least I'm not eating any dust today.
Great Plains no-till drill works. Uh, basically, while I'm driving, I'm periodically looking back. I can see it pretty good from the driver's seat. All these cups right here, where the seed comes out of the hopper, all along there, you can see the seed in there. I can watch those gears turning, and I can see it's feeding seed. And for some reason, if those are ever to get plugged up and this hose backs up, the seed will start dumping out the top right here and indicates that happened to a lot with happened to me a lot on the soybeans. It doesn't happen, it hasn't happened yet on these uh, on this uh, winter wheat because I've I took all the uh, the openers off, I put some new ones on, and uh, and I got rid of the ones with the bearings that were shot. There was also some there's some feet guide tubes in there that are metal. They, uh, the guide tubes were bent on a couple of them, so the seed wasn't getting falling out. It was, if it got some dirt up in there, it was plugging up. So then I'm, periodically I stop and I come back and I check these openers. So these are the closing wheels in the back here, and then right in front of it, you got double opener wheels. And they kind of make like a, a V, and the and the seed falls down in between them. So I check and make sure they're not full of mud, and they all look pretty good. None of them have. If it's real muddy, those things can get filled up with uh, packed with dirt, and then you'll have issues. Your seed will plug up, and then it'll start coming out the top, like I where I pointed out. So I'm just. I'd stop every now and then and look and make sure they're not plugged up and they all look good so the seeds falling out of all of them. These tubes back here, they're for small grass seed. They go, they hook up like this. A lot of them are busted. I don't use them, but if I was going to use them, I'd replace them all. Uh, they come out the back. That's where you could put down a, a, another type of grass if you wanted to, to mix up what you're planting or if you're just going to plant a smaller grass seed you would use the the grass box so everything's going pretty good still got some blue sky the sun's trying to come out before this rain gets here this afternoon and uh, I got um, probably I don't know I still have probably eight acres or so six eight acres left so, and then depending on what time it is and everything, I might get on the four bottom plow and start turning over to backfield. So, these are the no-till cultures right here. They're the ones that cut the ground if you're no-tilling. So here's some of the rocks that I got out of the field, some of the bigger ones that were laying on top. Uh, I just threw them on Brett's trailer and I'm throwing them. This cut's actually pretty dry right now in the springtime. It's like full of water and super muddy. Uh, it's still a little muddy and there's still a little bit of water, but it's manageable. We're going to drag some logs in these tracks, maybe tomorrow if it doesn't rain, but I'm going to throw these rocks in here.
should be here this afternoon after this is planted. Perfect timing. I didn't um, didn't fly the drone while I was planning because uh, it's just hard by yourself sometimes and uh, I was kind of wanting to get done as fast as possible because there was rain on the way so once I got done with everything I flew the drone just uh, I like doing the aerial views and uh, I think like the tracks in the field and everything look pretty neat uh, with the drone footage also this time of year the leaves are starting to change you can see and uh, it's one of my favorite times of the year i like uh i like the way that the trees are already starting to change and i bet in another week or two it'll be even more colorful but uh yeah i just wanted to add some drone footage at the end of the way the fields look 